How's it going to be? Welcome back to episode 15 of Unitycraft. I am back here on the server. I'm in the nether and look at what I've done to my portal. I have built, I've reconstructed, reconstructed, reconstructed the front of the original 2019 Ads Labs as my portal in um in in the nether. This took uh, quite a little while. You can see over there in the distance, um, Sarah and Lily have also um, made their portals nice and big and fancy. And I thought, well, I better do something. So I thought, what better to do than to just rebuild Ads Labs? Um, obviously not. I'm not going to rebuild the entire Ads Labs here. It's on the nether roof. Um, it's just a nice little show at the front. You can run up the front of these stairs here. Run, 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 run. There's a freaking hobgoblin up there. All the way up here. And it just kind of like cuts off. So, oh, almost jumped off the edge there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix that. But um, I've I've done this for um, two reasons. Not only so it looks cool, but also because um, uh, with the invention level test that I was going to build, um, I, I'm going to connect that down to a road. And I was thinking of bringing that road to go through a portal to come out here, just as a bit more of an aesthetic thing. Aesthetic thing. So if I wanted to, I could maybe build a road from Azlabs that comes around here and then goes over to the spawn portal. I don't know. If it goes to a portal that can appear outside of my dock, that's probably the best idea that I can do. Um, with nether portals, you have to figure out what coordinates match up to places. So if I were to build a road, it could like come through this way and then appear somewhere here, like around there, then the portal takes you over here. Um, a bit of a road here, then that could be like the cargo between the store and ads labs and stuff. Uh, this giant wall and sheep, that's like, that, that must be some top shop. So yeah, I, um, I was just looking at the coordinates now. And what I think I could do, if I make the road come this way and then turn and then go through this, I can go through a portal here, which ends up in my shop. So I could just like kind of dominate the in front of my portal. And I won't get anyone else's way, I don't think. So. That could definitely be an idea to do. Okay, so after a lot of coordinate checking, I think that the exit portal in the nether that I've built um, around the side of my Azlabs mountain will correspond to this mountain in the overworld. So I'm thinking if I build a portal here, and I connect a road to it, then that'll lead into the nether, and will allow us to build a road in the nether over to spawn. It's, 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 very, it's very dodgy, I know, but... Um, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, have to, I'm just having to give it a go. Light it up, big old portal. And now we go to the nether, do the same thing, and hope that it connects. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to be quite upset. Fingers crossed. And here we go. Oh, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Yes! Oh! I linked to the portals! <laughs> you know what that means? The road is... Well, it's open. It's not complete, of course, because there's no road here. And do we pop out the right way? Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that's a relief. That's a wet off my shoulders. So what I'm going to be... So what I'm going to... So what I'm going to be doing is making this road curve around like this, connect up to this road, and then I'm going to start... Um, actually, no, I've got something else that I want to do as well. I want to use this area over here to put down another building for a sugarcane farm. Uh, because breaking all the sugarcane by hand is really annoying, and I've got redstone so I can just make it automated. So I'm probably going to be doing that. So I will um, cut to once I've actually um, done some more things, so I'm not going to be just recording nonsense. And I will see you guys when I've actually um, got made some progress. Okay, so welcome back, and let's take a look at what I've done. I've, oh, I've made this so far. This is the beginning... Oh, I have to build up so you can see. This is the um, beginning framework of going to be my sugarcane farm. It's quite nice. It's a quite, quite nice, quite nice little corner bit here. Got a bit of path going. I might have some seats around, make a nice little plaza thing. And it's going to be like this. It's going to be a bit to the side going up here. We've got a main thing at the top. It's going to be. It's going to. It's going to be really tall. A little showcase. You press the button. It's going to go brrr, and it'll fall down into one little bit. It's going to be nice and organised and a lot easier instead of running through the showcase farm like I've been doing all this time. Clicking on that showcase because I need paper for my villagers to get emeralds and also just for books if I want. If I want. If I want to read. Um, so I'm just going to keep on building this. Well, I'm going to keep building out, and I will see you guys soon. And a day later, here is the final result. Look at this really cool looking town. I, I really like being able to finally be in this office level and seeing another building across the street from me. You can just see all the um, sugarcane and everything up there. And um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to show you a closer look. So running out the front of the lab with some arrows on the screen. You can see here is a nice building. I quite like the design of this. It's quite nice and modern. You come inside here, and here are the farms. Basically, you know, it's pretty simple. We run up here, press the button. Press the level, sorry. And all the sugarcane comes flowing down. They give me almost a snack right away. Click the more manual anyway. Click the button, see what we get. Ooh, that's like another stack there. So now what we're we doing is building these levels, going all the way up uh, for each level. 
Um, I'm going to keep this section open so you can have balconies, being able to see the entire sugarcane farm. I'm probably going to put some more farms here, maybe just some regular wheat farms or whatever, just fill it out. Not too sure yet, but um, I'll get that done. Um, and then after that we can continue with the next project. Also, one little update for the bunker. Uh, the cow population has grown massively, as you can see lots of cows there, lots of sheep over here. And I've also got chickens over here, and pigs, and pigs still grown, I just put them recently. But these chickens, look how many damn eggs I'm getting from these little cluck clucks, these little mother cluckers. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I'm probably going to add some more by extending this out um, a little further, but that won't be until I finish my plans for now. Okay, so after finishing the sugarcane farm, I will now be moving on to this build, which I'll be doing. This is um, something I've been putting off for a long time, but I thought I might want to just, just freaking get out of the way. Up there is my um, laboratory. From there, there'll be a road that'll be driving across this beautiful bridge over here, which will come to this tower, which I, I've got a really weird um, design idea for. I'll explain that in a second. It's going to come all the way down, and there's going to be a road coming out here that's going to connect down to there. How it's going to get there is um, I'm, I, was, I started, I wanted, I really kind of wanted to, I started with an idea of doing like a spiral type thing with a road that spirals all the way down, but I didn't really like it. And I thought it'd be too hard to build. So instead, I'm going to build, I'm going to be building some sort of like leveled car park type thing with roads that can go down. But also, to make it a bit more creative, have like some roads that'll be like sticking out that's gonna like curve around and down a level. It's, um, I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. Um, I'm, uh, I've, I, this has been, this has been days in the planning, I just, I just don't really know where to start. I've made like, a bit of a frame so far. I'm just struggling, so, um, I guess we'll see where this can go a little bit later. Well, it is a week later, I've been spending a lot of time on this damn thing, it's been taking so damn long. But as you can see, here's the progress I've made so far of my level car park road thing. This thing has been taking a long time. I decided to build this one strangely because I actually had to start building on the top level because of, you know, where it came out from my um, laboratory level. You can see this nice thing here. This reminds me of, like, you know, astronauts walking onto the spacecraft, the launch out thing. Comes over here. This is where the road's going to be. Here's a, here's a building thing. I'm going to have a road coming off there. It's going to be, like, just bending around. Here's some car parks. And here's where uh, it will be coming down to the next level. It's going to have to do something sexy. And now it's snowing! It's always, because it's always raining here, snow gets everywhere. I had to put this damn roof on because snow kept getting absolutely everywhere. It's just snowing all over my roof. Anyways, this road is going to have to be coming out of here. That's going to be bending around somewhere. It's going to have to come out into the lower level, the lower level, I think. I've just been doing some more building. I had nine stacks of concrete in my, no, eight stacks of concrete in my inventory. And I've just been able to do this ring here, and that's basically it. Nine, eight freaking stacks. Just for, this takes so many damn resources. I make like an inventory full of concrete comp here, I build a little bit, and then I have to go back down and get more because I just run out so quickly. It's ridiculous. Isn't it, Orange Lee? Isn't it, Nice Stranger? I don't even have any stone on Canadians. That, what was that? Don't give me stone on Canadians. What the heck I gotta be for you to be with me? You! Oh! This is a brand new episode of Intermetral Ads Got Talent. Ads is singing crappy songs. Oh! A plus, you get through. You go to Hollywood. Oh, I'm gonna have mashed potatoes for dinner. Oh, fookity fookity fook, yeah. I love how genuinely excited you got. Just like, oh, mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah, mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna have myself some mashed potatoes. <laughs> it actually sounded vaguely Australian. <laughs> hey, your ma, what's for dinner? Mashed potatoes. Oh, fuck yeah. This is just a little glimpse into the life of building on the server, talking to these two loons. Or this, for this one loon, this responsible adult, really. I'm not a. Uh, yes, I am a responsible adult, thank you. I'm no. not a responsible adult! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a responsible adult, Charlie. I'm a loon. Let me sleep now. If somebody doesn't sleep in the next five seconds, I'm going to You're gonna what? Ouch! Five... Four... Oh no, she's counting. My mom's counting. Quick, get in bed! Get in bed, guys! Get in bed! No! Three. I'm not close to my bed, Lily! You gotta give me more time! Two and a half. I need more time! One and a half. No! One. No! One, uh, one-fifth. Oh! One-sixth. Oh! One-seventh. Oh! Oh! It's morning. Hey. I, was, I got one-eighth, that was close. Um, so I've just been putting in these white things here, and I've just realized something. Ace, Lily. Mm -hmm. I... <laughs> it's not even. Oh no. I, I have these pillars here, but and you know, you saw the pillars, um, the red pillars going between the levels, and the spacing between those two and the spacing between these two are different. Oh no. <laughs> by about like, what is that, three blocks. The only way that I could fix it is to move these pillars for like, the third freaking time. <laughs> 
Uh, and I'm gonna have to. Oh, it's gonna look weird. As as White Light and Jazzy used to say, dicks. <laughs> Damn it, dicks. Okay, guys. So I am back in my store here because I've realized that the building that I've been building, I've been building it for like as three buildings in the same sentence. I've been building that thing for like a week, almost two weeks. So it's been taking so long for this episode to come out, and I've just realized that it's just gonna take me so awesomely long. So I'm probably gonna. Put on a hold for a little bit, we'll work at it between episodes. And um, I've come back to my store here, as you can see, I've made this big open area here. I was making this um, shipping and receiving type area thing with cranes and, and you know, boat port and stuff. And I just haven't done this yet, and um, it's come to my attention that I probably should. So I'm feeling I'm trying to work on this for a little bit. Um, you'll see some more progress for that next episode. And I might even record myself doing a bit of it at some point. But yeah, so that's this episode done, I guess. I, I didn't get all the finish that I wanted to do this episode, but I guess that's going to have to stage later. Big builds take a lot of time, I've now learned that. I've got to... I've got a lot. I've got a lot to do. So, um, uh, thank you, Ace and Lily, for coming out with me today. Ye yeah. Yes. And um, yeah. if you liked the video, please like the video. Consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll say.